Hey, what's going on, CoinUp TV subscribers? Robert Walken here. In this video, I want to do a review of the Shaw Brothers classic Dragon Swamp from 1969. I recently rewatched this, or actually watched it for the first time, as part of the Shout Factory Shaw Brothers classic volume collection. Uh, we got Dragon Swamp and also The Invincible Fist which I'll review that movie in another video. If you didn't know, these come on separate discs. They're not, uh, they're just packaged in one, one package there. I'll talk about the disc shortly and I'll give you my litter grade. Shortly, this video review will have some spoilers. So you've been warned. So Dragon Swamp, 1969, directed by Lo Wei. Here's the synopsis from IMDb. After being implicated in the theft of the Jade Dragon Sword, Feng Ying is banished to the Dragon Swamp for 20 years. So we've got this movie starring Chang Pei Pei in a dual role, two roles. Lo Li, who's uh, involved in the uh, theft of the Jade Dragon Sword, uh, kind of has a little bit of a crouching tiger, hidden dragon, a MacGuffin um, throughout the movie. There's some really great exterior shots. Chang Pei Pei comes off. Uh, girly sometimes when she's playing one character and then very serious and uh, aged and mature and another it was really interesting to see her in a dual role I thought that was a kind of an interesting aspect of the movie and the way they sort of explain things um, and how she's kind of being healed by the the dragon the, the dragon swamp juice to stay young she found the, the fountain of youth there uh, i thought that was very very clever although if you, you i kind of missed it the first time around i kind of caught it re-watching it uh you know the second time around but uh yeah it was interesting we get uh, a character called Romy knight who has a little bit of a smaller role by uh he is played by yu hao um the swamp lair looked really cool it actually kind of reminded me of the uh where wonder woman uh grew up you know it's kind of this secluded island um all females there and um you know just kind of had like wonder woman one vibes or something like that uh there's a scene where chang pei pei is casually surrounded by different martial arts bandits inside of a restaurant it's much like a, the opening scene from the film Come Drink With Me, where she easily fights them off and defeats them. It was interesting sort of seeing this homage, this tribute, this parody, this copycat uh, scene in this movie. I think done better in Come Drink With Me. I think uh, the tension wasn't really uh, sucked out of uh, that same scene in this movie. You'll have to let me know in the comments below what you think of that. Uh, director Lo Wei has a small part in this, small acting part where he plays a uh, martial arts monk. He's kind of in the beginning and then the end. Uh, the story and fighting choreography is overall pretty, pretty good, pretty okay. Uh, visually stunning, but there are some dated effects here and there, like the rear projection stuff where they're on a boat and they're traveling to the island. <laughs> and it looks like, uh, it reminded me of like Land of the Lost or something. I mean, again, this movie is from 1969. So that's the way some special effects were, were in these um, low budget, I guess, medium budget. I'm not quite sure. I mean, Shaw Brothers was a big studio with a lot of money. Would this be considered low budget, medium? Uh, small, high. Uh, anyway, those effects not so great, but you know you can you can live with them because they're fun, kind of fun. Uh, also, I'd like to mention that my boy uh, Kufang has a small part towards the end of this movie. I, I I don't know why, but whenever I see Kufang on on camera and screen and some of these movies, I'm just like, yes, hope he has a big role. I hope he does some stuff. I like his uh, acting chops, his charisma, his his look, and uh, you know overall he's he's just kind of fun to have as like your your bonus character in a movie. So let's see, for letter grade, I'm gonna give Dragon Swamp a C minus. I thought it was fun and entertaining, visually stunning, and had a pretty easy plot to follow along. Uh, it just didn't really grab me that emotionally, and uh, you know, it wasn't really like top, top shelf kind of stuff there. Let's take a look at the Blu-ray here. Dragon Swamp, new audio commentary with Hong Kong-based academic and filmmaker Gilbert Poe. We get a celestial trailer and original theatrical trailer. So quality was great on that. It was fun to watch. Uh, you'll have to let me know in the comments below what you think of this movie for CoinOp TV. We'll see you in the next video.